A Washington state law that targets repeat sex offenders hit the bullseye in Spokane Superior Court today. It took a jury just a little more than three hours to convict this man, Richard Payne, of exposing himself and fondling a five-year-old girl at Northtown. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey is here to show us why prosecutors think the harsh punishment is well-deserved. Jeff? Nadine, our armed robbers get three strikes before they're finally locked up, locked up for life. But here in Washington State, sex offenders are even on a tighter leash. And today, when the jury convicted Richard Payne, he got a second strike and lost the last day of freedom he'll ever know. Richard Payne came to court this morning knowing that a jury had spent less than a day considering his very high stakes case. Payne didn't look very hopeful and for good reason. We the jury find the defendant Richard M. Payne guilty of the crime of child molestation in the first degree is charged in count one. The jury had been watching surveillance video that shows Payne walking towards two girls sitting on a Wave Runner video game and then fondling the younger one's backside. Unlike most criminal trials, jurors were allowed to know about Payne's previous convictions, including a different molestation case back in 2001. Bringing up a person's prior conviction 11 years ago, it, you just can't get a fair trial with that many odds against you in any way. In fact, even one of the jurors even said, that, uh, hey, how do you expect us to give him a fair trial with all these odds stacked up against him? However, the defense didn't have much of a case to work with. Payne's alibi that he had gone to the arcade to think after gambling away his paycheck was torn apart by prosecutors during cross-examination. In my mind, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to explain my situation to my girlfriend. But what you're focusing on at the start of that video is those children at that game. We could see from the video his sole focus was on children. He wasn't there thinking or pondering. He was there to molest a child. To make sure that doesn't happen again, state law requires defendants convicted of serious sex crimes to be immediately taken into custody, even though Payne has been free on bond for more than a year. I know he and his, uh, my, I call her his wife, um, I said their last goodbyes this morning, and they know that uh, they'll probably never see each other again as long as they live. Prosecutors also told the jury that on the day of this offense, Payne couldn't control his impulses, not at the casino, and later in the afternoon, not at that video arcade full of young children, and Nadine impulse control. That's what our two-strike sex crimes law is all about. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.